moving. We're beating Hacker at his game. Don't tell me that he's trying to hack the motherboard. We'll get him every time. Cosmic world, freaky places that we've seen. We got the power of one, two, three, four. Running in the side of a chase. It's Slider and those Earth brats. Could they have found my missing link? Got everything? I've got the map. I've got the NIC. The network interface card that activates my Transformatron. I knew they had it. Hang on, Pops. We're on our way. Ah! They even know where Coop is. Pops, delete. Pull me up. You boys. Sorry. Slider! According to this map, that's where your father is. Hang on. It doesn't look like anyone lives here to me. <gasps> I saw someone! Wait! Don't go! Sly? Is... is that you? How'd you know my name? I guess you don't recognize me, son. Son? Don't call me that. You're not Coop. My dad's not old like you. Remember this. You. Looks like Slider found his dad. Awesome! I never wanted to leave Rodopolis, but I had no choice, son. Why? What happened? When I learned that Hacker planned to use the Transformatron to take over cyberspace, I refused to give him the blueprints. What I didn't count on was his revenge. It happened a few days later. I was testing a new monoline board when I suddenly realized Hacker had switched my helmet for one made of magnetite. Magnetite! No! All cyborgs react differently to magnetite. Some suffer more damage than others, some none at all. For me, the damage was total. My hard drive deteriorated, and I began to time warp. I realized that magnetite could destroy motherboard and hurt you the same way it had me. I couldn't let that happen. I had to leave and find a cure. I hid the network interface card that Hacker would need to activate the Transformatron and a map to where I was going. I knew someday you'd find it and come looking for me. I hope you understand why I left, Sly. I do now, Pops. And here's the NIC. Well done, son. <laughs> and Hacker's going bonkers looking for it. That's bad, Jackie. That means he's pieced together the blueprint and built the Transformatron. I don't get it, Coop. What exactly does the interface card do? Hacker needs it to connect his computer to the Transformatron. Then he can program it to transform himself into anything he chooses. What was that? Hacker? Nice suit. The hacker to you. Mark me if you wish, you irksome Earth child. But this nice suit, as you put it, protects me from this. Magnetite. That's right. Now, hand over the interface card before I crash your hard drive permanently. Forget about it, hacker. I'm immune to that stuff. Remember? But he's not. Now, hand over the NIC. No way. The NIC stays with me. Have it your way. <laughs> oh, no. My feet have been supersized. <laughs> Now I have the NIC and your son. Welcome to your worst nightmare, my old friend. <laughs> oh my gosh! This is the worst thing that's ever happened! What are we gonna do? I'm 
I'm going after my son. We're coming too. No, stay here and mix the cure I developed. I can't do it myself because one of the ingredients is magnetite. Here's the recipe. Mix these ingredients to generate an orange cyber field and reverse the damage of the magnetite. But Coop... Just be sure you measure the right amounts or it won't work. Coop, wait. You can't go alone. I'm coming with you. And don't try to argue. I always win. What are you waiting for? See you at Hackers. And hurry! Is that the Transformatron? Yep, and it looks ready to go. Oh. Slider needs our help! If we don't reverse the damage soon, it'll be too late. Okay, we got all the ingredients. Coop said all we have to do is follow the recipe and measure the right amounts to generate that orange cyber field. That's four cyber cups of magnetite, six cyber cups of crystinium, and seven cyber cups of francesium. Uh-oh, one problem. We need a cyber cup to measure our amounts. Let's see, cyber tape, sticks, spoons, aha! Cups, one for each of us. Here's one, two, three, exactly four cups of magnetite. I'll add one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cups of francesium. One, two, three, four, five, six cups of Christinium. Stir and cure. It's working. Great. We'll take it to Slider and... Ew! Ew! Gross! Ew! Ew! Where's the orange cyber field? Got me. We must have messed up. Make room, I gotta pace. Oh, how can we fix our mistake if we don't know what it is? We have to figure out what went wrong so we don't make the same mistake again. But we used the right ingredients, just like Coop said. And we measured out each amount. Wait a minute. I think these measuring cups are different sizes. If they are, they won't measure the same amount of stuff, and our measurements were wrong. Sheesh, I see what you mean. This one looks bigger than this one. And if we don't measure out the right amounts of the formula, it's not going to work. We need to know for sure if the cups are the same or different. I have an idea. These glasses are identical. Let's fill up each cup, pour that amount into a glass, and compare the amounts. Brim full, Earthlies! My measuring cup holds the same amount as the glass. Uh-oh! Overflow! My cup holds more than yours, Didge. Mine holds less! Not even close to the top! Whoa-oh! The cups do measure out different amounts, so we did measure wrong. Oh, man! Unless we figure out how to measure the right amount of each ingredient, We'll never cure Slider! Make it sparkle, my dunce buckets! Cyber history is about to be made! Meet the electric eel of Aquarium, the source of power for my Transformatron! I stole it from Icky's super secret hideaway. <laughs> they don't even know it's gone! And this, my young friend, is the pedestal of Panguia. A mystical, magical mechanism that will carry the power from the heel to the Transformatron. In a short while, I will become more powerful than ever before. My dad will stop you. Oh, uh, he will? Not a chance. As soon as I plug this card into my computer, I can transform into anything I choose. After that, cyberspace will be mine! Yeah! Yeah! We've got to get Slider out of there. I might just have a way. Follow me. OK, 
Okay, what do we know? We know we need a measure that's exactly one cyber cup. But which one is it? Wait a minute. Way back in cooking school, I must have marked the cups. See? This one says one cyber cup. Great, let's start over. Only this time, we'll use this standard measure for everything. Cool, we don't need these anymore. <laughs> Whoops. Here's one for real cyber cup of magnetite. And here's two. Matt, wait! The first time you measured out one cyber cup, it wasn't even up to the top. But look, this cup is super full. So? I use the same cup each time. What difference does it make? Yeah, no biggie. We're in a hurry! Hurry or not, the right amount matters. Okay, okay. Let's level off this super full cup and see what we've got. Yikes! Look how much extra there was just from heaping it up on top. To get this right, we need to fill our measuring cup exactly to the top each time. Let's do it! This time, it has to be right. Yay! It worked! Let's go cure Slider! Oh, no! The cyber fill only lasted a short time! Who knew? Not even cool! Come on, we'll take everything with us and make a fresh batch at Hackers. All clean, boss. Spick and span. Yeah, you're good to go. And uh, now, thanks to the genius of yours truly, I will activate the Transformatron. Actually, your father deserves equal credit, you know. We did design this together. Not to use this way. <sighs> A minor point, a mere technicality. Yes! It works! If only I could move my feet! Ooh, I like the fireworks, boss. Yeah! Does it do anything else? It does it all, my brainless bots. It's a dream maker. Now tell me, if you could be anything you wanted to be, what would it be? Um, a big bunny! A giant donut. Perfect. Let's see if your dreams can come true. Oh, this is good. Very, very good. No one can stop me now! <laughs> what? Hang on, son. Snarly move, Dad! Alright! What? Buzz! Delete! Stop them! Got him, boys! A noble effort, Coop. But it's too late to save Slider, or yourself, or anyone, for that matter. <laughs> Yikes! Tell me that isn't what I think it is. It's Hacker!
Don't feel bad, Coop. It was a good plan. Yeah, but I didn't expect to be caught by a giant donut. Big is good, huh, Dee Dee? Yeah, only I'm starving. Wish I had some carrots. Yoo-hoo! Free carrots! <gasps> carrots? I want some! Get your carrots! Fresh and free! Slider, you can do it. One, two, three, push! Now that's what I call a donut on a roll. Come on, we've got a formula to mix. Slider, we're going to reverse your damage. Oh, man. The cyber field didn't work. He didn't change back. Coop, we measured exactly. We got the orange beamy thing. But Slider's still got big feet. Hold this near him. Tell me what it says. It's flashing fire. The magnetite caused five times more damage than I thought. You need to make the formula five times stronger and fast. Five times stronger means we have to add five times as much of everything. So for magnetite, we need five times four cyber cups. Or 20 cups. Here's one. Here's two. Ah, oh, this is gonna take forever. There must be a faster way to measure all these cups. Hmm, what would be faster than dipping this measure 20 times? Dipping it fewer times? Five. Yes, but to do that, we need a cup that holds more stuff. Like, uh, how much more stuff? Um, ten cups at a time? Then we'd only have to dip it twice. Two times ten cyber cups is twenty. This is all I got. Will they work? Only if one of them holds exactly ten cups. Because I already measured out ten cups of magnetite. Uh-uh, no good. Too small. Try the other one. This one's too big. Hold it! If this is ten cyber cups of magnetite... Here's a ten cyber cup measure! Exactamento! Alright! Let's whip up some cure! For Christinium, we need five times six cyber cups, or 30 cups. That's one, two, three of our 10 cup measure for a total of 30. And for Francesium, we need five times seven cyber cups, or 35. Here's 10. 20, 30. Uh-oh, we need five more cyber cups of francesium, not 10. How can we add five if the only measure we have is for 10? It's not, we have this one cup measure too. Cool, all we have to do is fill it five times, add it to the 30 already in the bowl, and we'll have the exact amount we need. Five cups plus 30 cups gives us a total of 35 cups of Francesium. It worked! Boy, we did it! Come on, come on! We measured exactly! This has to work!
Hey, you brought me back. Thanks, dudes. I mean, really. You're, You're welcome. welcome. Hey, Sly. Good to have you back. I am the hacker transport! The ultimate roller of cyberspace! From now on, chaos rules! <laughs> This machine was designed to do good. I guess we'll just have to do that ourselves. The network interface card. It's up to us to make sure it doesn't fall into the wrong hands. Hey! Guys, we stopped Hacker in his tracks. Now let's get this seal back to Aquarium. And the pedestal to Penguia. Sly and I are heading home. We've got to find a way to keep Hacker from rebuilding the Transformatron. And work up another cure, right, Pops? Well, I guess it's goodbye then. Nah, just so long. We'll see you guys soon. Until then. for real. Thanks so much for helping me out, Kelly. That's what friends are for. When the network sees this audition tape, there's no doubt they'll want me to be the host of their new cooking show. Make sure the footage makes me look really great. You know, gorgeous, talented, appealing. I'll get whatever you give. Good morning! Today, I'm going to show you how to make a yellow sponge cake. That'll be the highlight of any birthday party. It's been in my family for generations. Not only is it delicious, it's foolproof. Move on. The recipe calls for 12 egg yolks. 11. <clears throat> First, add two cups of sugar. Your measurement is off. Next, two cups of flour. You're adding too much flour. Our next ingredient requires the use of a teaspoon, which I don't have. Oh, but I do have a quarter teaspoon. To add two teaspoons of baking powder, I need to fill the quarter teaspoon eight times <clears throat> while I'm doing this. I should just tell you a little bit about myself. I have a dog named Mojo, and my hobbies include biking, horseback riding, running, and camping. Are you keeping track of how much baking powder you're adding? I counted 12 quarter teaspoons. No more comments! Your job is to keep the camera rolling. And finally, a half a cup of water. In 30 minutes, my heavenly creation will be baked. The aroma is intoxicating. If only this were smell-o-vision. Oh, no! This is impossible! I wanted to make a birthday cake, not a pancake! Oh, now my chances for hosting the show are ruined! Your oven must be broken, Kelly! And why are you taping me now? You told me my job was to keep the camera rolling. My oven's not the problem. I'll show you. Before we started taping, you didn't get out the measuring tools you needed. You used a coffee cup instead of a measuring cup, and then you overfilled it. Then you lost count when you were adding the baking powder with the quarter teaspoon. 
So? When you follow a recipe, adding too much or too little of anything will affect the result. Either too sweet or too dry, or in this case, too flat. Your oven must be broken, Kelly! And oh, we're all Kelly. I'm so sorry. I know you were stressed because you wanted the tape to be great. I'll redo it with you. Why don't I take you to lunch instead? Okay. As long as someone else is doing the cooking. No problem.